Hi, my name is Ari and I'm a business consultant for Follow the Hummingbird Consulting. Today I want to talk about purpose versus product. Uh, they're both very important, obviously, and depending on what your goals are, they can both take priority over the other. Starting with product, because it's a little easier to talk about, product will trump purpose if you're trying to do something like an e-commerce Shopify account, where your top priority is purchasing something and then selling it at a higher retail price. There's nothing wrong with that, and if your end game is to get as much cash in the short term as possible, then yes, product will outweigh purpose. That being said, if you're trying to build a company that lasts, if you're trying to build a legacy, trying to build a business that has the right infrastructure in place that you could one day sell or leverage to uh, accomplish your true dream or passion, to work out for the rest of your life, or to pass on to your children, um, then purpose will trump product. And it's because one product will not make or break a business. You need to constantly be adapting. And the funny thing is, it's not necessarily just down the line, like we're going to start with this one product, and then uh, after years of profits, we're going to grow into a second. Uh, purpose can start taking shape in less than a year. So for example, with Follow the Hummingbird, our purpose is working with people who can't afford uh, traditional business um, services. We want to help stimulate the local economies for, uh, for socially responsible and environmentally conscious businesses that sometimes don't see the highest profits and we want to help them maximize their profits because um, if companies that are doing good do well, then the city becomes a healthier place. And us identifying our purpose has allowed us to adapt. So we started off just um, offering operational tips for people who don't necessarily have a background in business. Then we played on our financial uh, background. We started offering financial consulting uh, services. And then we slowly developed into marketing. We slowly started talking to uh, funding sources. Uh, we're growing our media content. We're putting out videos, podcasts. Uh, and we have, and education is a very important element to the services that we provide. So our purpose is becoming more than just our mission statement, for example. Our purpose is helping our company grow organically. By identifying our purpose, we, in less than a year, have added on like four different services and have uh, got helped people get into various events, um, identify the proper funding channels, etc., and grow their business. And we still see, in less than this first year, um, in just our first quarter, opportunities that we can either pursue or walk away from if they don't fit into our culture. If we were focusing on a product-based or just an individual service based to cash out in the short term, we would not be reinvesting in our company. We would not be uh, focusing on building out the proper infrastructure and channels to have this business last. We would be doing everything we could to maximize our current profits and then shut down shop as soon as it was no longer profitable. So let's get back to identifying purpose because if you do want your company to last, you need to identify your purpose. You need to identify your culture and that will open, that will help you down the line identify what opportunities are worth pursuing and what you should walk away from because the bottom line is you're not gonna be able to say yes to everything and you shouldn't say yes to everything because time is a very valuable commodity. So identifying your purpose. This is something I call the layers of why. Essentially, and it's a really easy exercise. The more times you can answer why, the more flushed out your purpose is. You can play with the layers of why, and you should play with the layers why. Ask yourself what your business does, and then ask yourself why. The answer to that question, ask yourself why. The answer to that question, ask yourself why. And keep going on and on and on until you stop, and the second you stop, your homework for the next week is to answer that why. And you want to just keep answering whys. And the more you do it, the more fleshed out your business's purpose is going to be. And the more fleshed out your culture is going to be. And the better off you will be down the line as you're laying out the in proper infrastructure for your business. And finally, why is this important? It's because culture gives you structure. It gives you a form to build on. You aren't just sort of floating out in the nebula uh, looking for what's trending right now or trying to cash in on something that's selling at a high profit margin. You know where your business stands, you have the right brand in place, make the right strategic decisions, you'll be able to hire the right team to complement your strengths and fill in for your weaknesses so you don't have to spend time on that. It builds you the strong brand that you are looking for if you want to last. Because when you have that form, you're far less likely to 
grow too quickly and implode on yourself. You, you have this structure that's in place and you can be very strategic about what decisions you make so it never grows too big for you to handle.